either to you about got this pointed straight out my window am indoors uh, trying to stay safe uh, we're under a severe thunderstorm warning here in my county and uh, just thought I'd bring it to you live here my daughter in the background. I apologize in advance. I'm trying to keep her away from my tripod. Like I said, we're under a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, this is uh, February 20th. I did the geoengineering uh, uh, documentation of them prepping the storm yesterday. Of course, they got to do it ahead of time, right? And uh, so this is the next day. This is the 20th. So, uh, but we're under severe thunderstorm warning now, and then a blizzard right behind it. So, uh, right on the edge of this is thunder snow. So, we're starting off with a thunderstorm with rain. Let's see what this turns into. Uh, but according to the uh, radar, we're in for a doozy. We're expecting 60 mile an hour winds. I can definitely feel it getting colder. So it was colder than this, this morning, and they expect falling temperatures. That's why we got this extreme on one side and the other. So we're getting the thunderstorms, thunder, snow, icing, then the blizzard. This is going to be an all-day event, but uh, this is just my part of documenting this severe thunderstorm with the lightning and the thunder. Uh, this is very unusual, actually, for Iowa uh, in this part of the month. Shouldn't be happening until uh, March. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Listen to the thunder loud. right next to me but so and it's only about oh 36 degrees out and we're getting lightning and thunder that means it's a very powerful powerful system but it's only 36 degrees out and we're getting lightning and thunder anybody who knows their science and about weather and about the rare conditions that this is supposed to happen and this is happening all the time. Japan uh, just uh, less than a week ago had three feet of snow in one night. The thunderstorms that moved through last night were powerful enough to dump four inches an hour on us. Four inches an hour which is uh, you wouldn't be able to see your hand in front of your face. I've been in uh, snow that heavy when the skiing in the mountains and uh, got lost once for several hours up at uh, a ski resort and uh, they're called uh, Snow Summit I believe okay here we go folks we got the front actually moving in now um, we're getting the precipitation which uh, seems like it is not it seems like it's frozen so, uh, I might have to call my wife back. She was wondering when to come home, and I told her right now, uh, because she went into work at 8.30. I said, you're just going to work to turn around and come home. But, uh, as we can see that it's falling now, uh, the precipitation seems to be, uh, rain mixed with sleet. A lot of sleet. So, we got thunder sleet going on right now, folks. See my hand here? Hello. Yeah, it's supposed to be rain. Uh, which, you know, these services, uh, it's not going to take much to, to freeze all this and to 
in, in, in the ice. So, uh, and I see some bouncing particles out there. So, uh, we got sleet mixed with rain, freezing rain, more lightning. And uh, the frozen stuff is bouncing into my window, if you want to notice. I'm getting the frozen stuff inside here, folks, so I might have to end up uh, closing my window. I don't want to really lose my audio uh, of the thunder. And so, uh, that's some more lightning. Thunder ice. Wicked guys. Um, if this adds up on our power lines too, we'll be looking at our power going down. But just to confirm if you wanted to uh, take a look there for the Holy crap guys, look at that. Thunder ice. I gotta call my wife back and let her know she's stuck. Wow. I'm calling my wife right now, guys. Hey, you're stuck. You might as well get a hotel room to stay all day. I'm sorry, but you, you it's its thunder ice out here, honey. There, there's no way. It's already too late. Uh, honey, you, you should... Uh, honey, don't drive in this stuff. You... Well, I'm telling you, you're not going to, well, you, don't, don't close the interstate, trust me. <laughs> okay, whatever. You need to warn your people, I'm telling you. There's thunder ice out here. It's, honey, you need to understand, this is, this is a freaking, you're not going to be able to move, I'm telling you. Okay? This is one of these where you ain't got a choice. I love you, baby. Okay, whatever. I've got it. I'm capturing it. I'm filming. You got to see it, man. It's, it's freaking weird, man. You got ice coming down like rain, heavy rain. And it's just cold. And you got, we've already got an inch. And, we, and we've got it in, in, in space of 15 minutes. The plows can't even get around. They're all spinning their tires. So, yeah. And that's just 15 minutes. So go ahead, have you fun, have you fun.
look how fast this is coming down, folks. Thunder ice, man. All coming from up there, man. I want to get the progression of this, the type of precipitation. If you could look at the fine... Uh, type of ice balls that they are, the type of precipitation that is falling. Alright, this is like hail, ice, because the convection is probably up there so high we're getting a little bit of everything here, folks. You heard me on the phone with my wife, she thinks she's going to drive home in this. <laughs> uh, she hasn't been, she has, and she'll see. <laughs> I don't, you know, I even, you probably saw it yourself there, the lady that ran the stop sign, uh, she's 75 years old, and uh, she didn't even care to stop. Uh, we even know how to drive on this stuff around here, huh, folks? I bet you go there playing with the dog. Not much to do on a winter's day, but this is something else, folks. <laughs> what I can catch in my hand here. Pretty crazy, huh, folks? I know this has been going on for just only 12 minutes, and we've already got the ground totally, totally covered in this ice. And it's uh, popping its way through. And I am getting background radiation reads uh, for you guys too, and so far so good. Popping into my window sill here. I just love that tree out there. It's one of my uh, favorite trees in town. Big tree up there. I don't think my wife understands. She's already stuck. <laughs> I should call her mom and see what her mom says. I think your daughter's convinced. 
Well, I told her, I said, you might as well just get a room, man. You know, I said, because, you know, it, this has covered the ground in less than 12 minutes. It, what's that? No, it's ice. That is pure ice out there. Hail, ice, whatever. <laughs> Nothing good on them roads. And they, they, they're gone in a second. Anyway, I'm getting somebody. Sorry. Bye. Hello? Oh, tons of it. Yeah, we're having thunder ice out here. It didn't... Yeah, it came down in uh, uh, hail and ice. And it covered the ground an inch in, in a matter of 12 minutes. Ice. Ice and hail. In, a, in, in an inch in 12 minutes. Is I have it all on... And it, I got it on film too. I got it from bare ground to it be everything in my. And I called up my wife and I'm like, you know, uh, uh, you're stuck. Oh, I don't care. Nothing's gonna keep me from dying at home. I'm like, well, I think this could be one of those situations where you're gonna go out there and your car's gonna be a frozen block and you're not gonna. I don't think anybody's. You're not gonna have a choice in the matter. Because she's like, oh, when should I come home? And I was like, well, you're gonna drive to work just to turn around and come home. for the last 17 minutes from when it broke because 17 minutes ago there it, there was no rain or no nothing that's when it then it hit boom because it was just about all playing around in the house I'm right here in my living room but I'm taping in my living room out my living room window to my yard and the tree in the sky out there so I'm getting some pretty good video of it coming down it's starting to moderate, lighten up just a little bit, but uh, it's still coming down really, really good. And and, and this stuff is going to add up on the power lines too. I can't see it not. If if, if the winds start whipping up and the temperatures drop much more, and uh, the plows are out trying to get around, I'm like, what are you going to scoop, man? It's freaking nice out there, you know. And they're spinning their tires and everything. This stuff is cement. This stuff is, is so wet, it's cement. They're not going to move nothing. It, it's sticking to everything onto the ground. But when you step on it or try to drive over, it just, you know, adheres to whatever. <laughs> that, that, that's where the temperature is right now. It's 36 de degrees. And I'm like, how do you get thunder and lightning at 36 degrees? Right, but it's not warm right now. It's 36 degrees. Where do you get, you know, thunder and lightning when it's 36 degrees? I mean, it's just preposterous. Uh, yeah, now they just interrupted the programming. The severe thunderstorm is going through Des Moines right now. You'll get some pop-up thunderstorms, like some heavy rain. It'll change over to hail and and uh, ice probably. Um, let's see. I'm trying to look at the radar right now. Dang, God. Yeah, my wife's getting hit pretty hard right now. And and then it'll turn back to ice again on top of what's already out there. Goodness gracious. The Dwayne's getting hammered right now. And and the, and, and, and and these newscasters, they have not got it right from. Second one, they're they're going second by second on this. They're not, they can't forecast nothing on it. At first, it was a half an inch, and it was one and a half inches. Then it went down to two, or went to two inches, and then it, they didn't know what what it was going to be. Now they're saying three to six for Des Moines, five to ten just north. You know, and they had no five to ten inches forecasted uh, two hours ago. Nobody did, nobody did. Now they're coming out saying five to ten inches. Yeah. 
or better than that even could. Well, I'm trying to tell my wife she don't want to listen to none of it. So, well, sometimes you you just don't get what you want. <laughs> she goes, nothing's gonna keep me away from my baby dinner. I'm like, yeah, well, Mother Nature might have something to say. Everybody's running our stop sign, our four-way stop down here. <laughs> so I wonder if there's going to be an accident because if there's traffic coming, it's a, actually a high traffic uh, intersection. Because this goes up to City Hall and then over to the trailer court and then, you know, to a lot of the houses around here. So a lot of people meet right here at this four-way. I even saw a 70-year-old, 75-year-old woman, she driving her big uh, Lincoln, right? <laughs> And uh, she ran that stop sign doing 35 miles an hour. <laughs> she wasn't even trying to stop on that ice. <laughs> she just went blew the stop sign. <laughs> Man, they're not even bothering trying. Because they can't, once they're stopped, they got to get moving again. There's a hill that's, you know, so they have to drive up the hill. I'm going to stop my recording.